It is hard to overstate what the trail has done for Abingdon. Tourism revenue for Abingdon makes up about 20% of the town's annual budget in terms of revenue. We opened in 2002. We had a mere 10 bicycles at the time. We, we opened up as a bike shop, not as a rental. And then we got 10 rentals and then we went to 30. Years passed by and it seemed like we just could never get enough bicycles and that's how we've grown to two locations. and over 200 bikes today. I opened a Likely Yarn in 2009 and then in 2010 I built the Park Street Guest House that's a short-term vacation rental. We're only two blocks from the Creeper Trail for people who've come here on business and they have a couple of hours in the afternoon they can take off on the trail and go as far as they want, as fast as they want. If you're just looking for a leisurely day on the trail with your family you can go to the top, shuttle to the top and you know, coast back to Damascus. It's just restful and safe. It's a great way to get out and enjoy the day. It, I love doing it. It's kind of my reward on my days off to bike. When people come here to ride the Creeper Trail, exhaustion sets in after you've spent the day on the trail. So there's nothing better than to have a nice shower in a bed and breakfast room, have dinner at one of the local restaurants, maybe go to the barter theater. 30 years looking back we really can see the impact that the trail has had and we're, we're realize just how grateful we are to those folks who really pushed it through. I can't say come here enough and do it. I, I, I really can't. It's just a beautiful place to live and work. <laughs>